Been hugging the shoreline. Finally, seeing a bunch of fish busting slow. Any luck at all? I should get hooked up. Oh, oh yes, snook! Yep. Quick release on that one. Another snook on, another snook off. Go! Wait a minute, are we still on? Oh, it's a blue! Blue. Nice size bluefish. Oh, and a little dinky snook. Today I'm going to be talking about how you can go out and paddleboard or kayak fish when the winds are blowing 10, 20, even up to 25 miles per hour. There's ways you can do it. I'm out here today and today's, they're saying 10 to 20. I think it was breezier in the morning than it is right now. But some of the tools that I use on windy days, whether you fish out of a kayak or a paddleboard, push pull is great. Two functions of a push pull. When you're going into a headwind, I can literally take this and push across the flats a lot quicker and a lot faster than I could ever paddle. You'd be surprised how fast you can go to a headwind. Second of all, I use the other end as a stakeout. I can stake this thing out in off a flat or off a point that holds me in position. I can either two things, fish off the paddleboard or I can get out and wait. When it's windy, uh, it could be one or the other depending on the situation, but you know, being on a kayak or being on a paddleboard on windy conditions, sometimes waiting is your best option. Next thing you got to look at as far as waiting, make sure you got a good quality pair of wading shoes. You don't want to go out there and flip flops. You're going to lose them if you step in a muddy spot. Good quality pair wading shoes. Like I say, I use Rugged Shark. Another thing I like to use on windy days is a drift shoe. This comes in really handy. This is made by Crack of Dawn. Also, Hobie makes one that's very similar. Got flotation on top, a weight on the bottom. It'll open up. It's like a little parachute. I can put this thing out. Even on days when they're calling five to 10, when I'm standing on this board, it blows me around. I put this out, it'll hold me on the flat. And instead of blowing across in five minutes, I could be there for an hour fishing. Great tool, always carry this with me. And it's great for either kayak, especially paddleboard, guys. It's a must have tool on windy days. And I keep it with me all the time. Also, if you come in handy when you hook that big tarpon and it starts taking you for a sleigh ride, you're going a little bit further than you really want to. Drift shoot, must have. Overall, it wasn't a bad day. Two snook and one nice bluefish on a day that was windy, to say the least. But using the shoreline, the mangrove shoreline, using things like my push pole, and drift shoot and getting out and actually waiting in sections, I was able to salvage the day. So don't let the wind keep you off the water. Just study the conditions and go out there and enjoy it. You can do it, even on a paddleboard. This is Peter Hink on the Inn River Lagoon. And thank you for watching.